Hi there, today I'm going to be using a number four worsted weight cotton in two colors. I've got white and some variegated yarn here. You'll need a US I9 5.50 millimeter hook and a yarn needle. I have this one, it's got a little blunt end on the end. So you don't need a sharp needle, just something blunt. For row one, to get started, start with a slip knot. And we're going to chain 33. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Now you can work a half double crochet in the fifth chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five. I like to work in the back loop of my chain. You can work wherever you normally would. Either will work. Now after this half double crochet is made, you'll have that one and then you'll have a stitch at the end with a chain one space here. To continue on, work a chain one, skip one chain, working in your second chain, work a half double crochet. We're going to repeat this across. So chain one, skip one chain, half double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the second chain. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in your next chain. Chain one, skip one, working in your second chain, work a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain, half double crochet in your next chain. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one chain, half double crochet in your next chain. Chain one, skip one chain, half double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one chain, half double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one chain, half double crochet in the next chain. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in your next chain. We have one repeat left, so chain one, and work a half double crochet in the last chain. That completes the first row of work. Now to finish, just draw up about an inch loop, remove your hook, and set your, side, your piece aside. Starting on our second row of work, we're going to start with our alternate color, which is our white. Start with a slip knot and then chain 33. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Now drop about an inch loop, remove your hook, and then take your beginning tail, and we're going to weave that into our yarn needle.
Now take your beginning piece with your master color and weave your yarn needle in and out of the half double crochet and the chain one spaces, just like this. Weave it all the way through until you get to the other end. And then pull it through. When you pull it through, line up your two beginning knots from both your pieces, pinch them together, and then pull your piece until you have about three chains sticking out at the end here. To continue on row two, insert your hook back into your working loop, tighten your loop, and we're going to work a half double crochet in the fifth chain from our hook, one, two, three, four, which is at the back of our work behind the master color piece. Work your half double crochet in that fifth chain. This row can be a little bit tricky to work your stitches because you'll be working in and around your master color piece. It's worked the same as our master color piece. So now we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to work a half double crochet in the second chain on the front in front of our master color piece. So we have one, two. This one at the front of our work here is our second chain. And that's where we'll work our half double crochet. Now we're going to repeat that, chain one. Now we'll half double crochet in the second chain, one, two, at the back of our work behind the master color piece. So just make sure you try to count your stitches correctly and that you're only skipping one chain, working in the second chain, a half double crochet. Chain one, working in the second chain, work a half double crochet. This one will be done in front of our master color piece. So one, two, here's our second chain right here at the front. Once you get past this row, it won't be so tricky. Chain one, working in the second chain, work a half double crochet. It'll be done at the back of our piece. Here's our second chain. Chain one, work a half double crochet in the second chain. There's one, two, and it'll be at the front of our work. Chain one, work a half double crochet in the second chain at the back. Chain one, Working in the second chain, work a half double crochet. This one will be done at the front. So let's count our stitches. One, two. So it's this one. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in the second chain at the back. So one. What's going on here? There's our stitch. Chain one, work a half double crochet in the second chain at the front of your work. Chain one, Work a half double crochet in the back of your work, in the second chain. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in your second chain at the front of your work. Chain one, work a half double crochet at the back of your work in the second chain. Chain one, work 
chain one. Work a half double crochet in your second chain at the front of your work. And then we have one more repeat left. Chain one. Make sure this loop stays at the front and that you work in the last chain at the back of your work. Right here. That completes this row of work. You can drop about an inch loop, remove your hook. Now working on our third row of work, insert your hook back into your master color row, tighten your loop around your hook and then chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. Make sure that this loop stays over to the side and out of your way. Now we'll be working in the chain one spaces from our previous master color row. So we'll work a half double crochet in our next chain one space, which is at the front of our work here. Insert your hook underneath there, like this, and work your half double crochet. Chain one. Now we'll work a half double crochet in the next chain one space, which is at the back of our work. You can see it there. Insert your hook into your chain one space and work your half double crochet. We're going to repeat that across. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in the chain one space at the front of your work. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in the chain one space at the back of your work. As you can see, I'm working in the master color row and I'm working around my alternate color row. Chain one, work a half double crochet in the next chain one space at the front. Chain one, work a half double crochet in the chain one space from behind. Chain one, work a half double crochet in the chain one space from the front. Chain one, Work a half double crochet in the chain one space from behind. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in your chain one space from the front. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in your chain one space from the back. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in your next chain one space from the front. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in your next chain one space from the back. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in your next chain one space at the front. Chain one. Work a half double crochet in your chain one space at the back. And we have one last repeat, so chain one. And work a half double crochet in your chain one space from the front. That completes this row of work. You can drop out an inch loop up, remove your hook, and you're ready to get started on your next row. Now getting started on our first, fourth row of work, insert your hook into your alternate color working loop, tighten your loop, chain three, one, two, three, turn your work. Now we'll work a half double crochet in our chain one space and we'll do this one in behind our work. We're going to chain one, work a half double crochet in your next chain one space at the front of your work and repeat that across. Chain one, half double crochet in the chain one space at the back, chain one, half double crochet in the chain one space from the front. Chain one, half double crochet in your chain one space from the back. Chain one, half double crochet in your chain one space from the front. Chain one, half double crochet in your chain one space at the back. Chain one, half double crochet in your chain one space from the front. Chain one, work a half double crochet in your chain one space at the back. Chain one, 
half double crochet in your chain one space from the front chain one half double crochet in your next chain one space from behind chain one half double crochet in your chain one space at the front chain one half double crochet in your chain one space from behind chain one work a half double crochet in the chain one space at the front we have one repeat left chain one when you work this one make sure that you keep your loop to the front and that you work in the chain one space from behind right here that completes this row of work draw up about an inch loop remove your hook now you can continue repeating rows three and four to add more length to your piece until you get it to the desired length that you would like it to finish off the dishcloth you would need to put your hook into both loops the alternate color and the master color loops tighten them around your hook and then chain approximately 10 chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then slip stitch to your beginning chain to create a little loop that you can hang your cloth pot holder from and at this point you can fasten off and weave in your ends.